guys welcome back I'm doing my hospital bag video I'm gonna start with um, I'm gonna start with the baby's bag because I'm gonna do my bag and his I won't be doing my husband's because his isn't completed yet um, my husband's is just a big duffel bag I've put a bunch of snacks and a blanket in there um, and a spare outfit for him but he has to grab whatever else he wants to grab um, and I'm leaving that up to him, <laughs> but otherwise I've really just kind of thrown a whole bunch of snacks in there for him. I don't know how long we're going to be in the hospital. I am coming up to actually I'm 38 weeks today, so it will be soon. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't come early. We're hoping for after the 24th of September, just for our lives and our organization. That's kind of the hope, but you know, he can come anytime now. <laughs> Um, so starting with his bag, I've just got, oh, I just unzipped it. I've got a backpack. Um, in his bag, I have a burp cloth, just from Amazon. Um, I've got a white and black beanie, and then a white pair of gloves. I wasn't really going to get any, or like the mittens. I wasn't going to get any of the mittens just because I actually saw a video of someone talking about how they're in the womb and they really just have like their own hands and feet to play with and then they come out and we take away their use of their hands which is their only comfort really and they're out in the world that's bright with these two people who won't leave them alone <laughs> um so i really wasn't planning on getting mittens i was just going to use the electronic trimmer uh, for his nails but um the white beanie that I got came with these mittens so I'm gonna bring this pair just in case and if he doesn't like them I won't use them but I brought a black beanie with little ears and then a white one that has the little tie on the top for him um, I actually got this black beanie at uh, once upon a child and then this white one with the mittens came from uh, shine or sheen or however it's pronounced and the muslin burp cloth came from Amazon most of the clothes I got for him were all gifted or from once upon a child so I don't have any way to link or give you that information unfortunately all of his little outfits that I'm bringing I'm bringing quite a few outfits because I'm not too sure on the weather at the end of September here in uh, BC I live in Canada it can be really nice like it is today or it can be rainy and windy and cold and the weather here likes to change in the drop of a hat so I have a bunch of different outfits for him probably too many but um, I don't know how big he's gonna be I don't know what he's gonna fit I don't know what the weather's gonna be like so I just I'm covering my bases I don't even think he's gonna really be wearing many clothes until we leave but you know I've got them pre bagged I'm gonna take them out of the bag and show you guys the little outfits but I have them bagged just to keep them set up because I know my husband's gonna look in the bag and see a bunch of clothes and be like, ooh. <laughs> um, I'm bringing one soother in the travel case. It's just a Nook, a zero to three month uh, soother. I'm going to try to not give it to him, but you know, if for some reason he's throwing a fit, I have it just in case. Um, the first outfit I have is just a little onesie with clouds and elephants I think yeah clouds and elephants it's so bright in here um, and then a pair of sweatpants little baby sweatpants I love little baby sweatpants just gray ones uh, the next outfit I'm bringing like I said I think I have five options <laughs> just because I don't know this one is one that says little guy. This one's, I think, the smallest, just in case he is quite small. I don't, I don't know. Uh, little guy. With blue sweatpants. And I've got like a Winnie the Pooh little onesie. and gray and blue sweatpants and these ones come with like little 
So if it's a little colder, I can cover his feet. I mean, I think I'll be swaddling him if we're not like in the room. Um, if we're leaving, like going outside and taking him home, he'll definitely be swaddled or have a blanket over him in the car seat. And I like this outfit a lot. I like the little black, simple, just one cloud. And these fuzzy little sweatpants with the feetsies. And the last option I have is just a like sleeper. Because if it's for leaving at nighttime or whatever and it's windy or raining, I've got this like little fleecy sweater, a sweater sleeper. Um, it comes with the fold over mittens as well if he needs them. And little booties, of course, it's the double zip. This one I got from Old Navy. I did get it a, a quite a f quite a while ago. I think I actually got it like almost two years ago when I was pregnant with our first um, Everest. Uh, this was one of my favorite outfits that we got him. So someone will have a chance to wear it. Um, otherwise, I just have another blanket or a blanket. I have two blankets that I'm bringing. I've got this fleece one. It's got sheep all over it and then I've got a rainbow swaddle this I want to take his first photo in for sure this and I'm thinking the white beanie but yes I love this muslin swaddle and this one I think that fleece blanket the sheep fleece blanket here came from babies are us in Canada we still have toys are us and babies are us so that I think they still sell it even though I did get it some of these things I did get a couple years ago when I was pregnant with Everest. Um, and that muslin swaddle, the rainbow one, I just got a few months ago from Walmart, the Walmart app. So that one's definitely still at Walmart. Okay. I guess I will move on to my bag if I don't have anything else. I will be bringing his electronic nail clipper. I have like the little one from Amazon, but I guess I forgot to throw it in that bag. Throw it in that bag. I will be throwing it in there after I'm done this video. <laughs> All right, so with my bag, I have just a like medium size blanket. Um, when I was delivering Everest, they just had these like really thin, small cotton ones, and I hated them. They didn't keep me warm. <laughs> so I have a blanket. I have one of these fans that like bends. It's for like putting in the stroller in the car seat, but I hear like while you're in in aggressive labor, <laughs> in active labor, um, it can get pretty hot. When I had Everest, they gave me a shot of morphine and I pretty well slept through. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. So I didn't need a fan or anything. I was, I don't remember the room being particularly hot, but I got this just in case. And of course, if it's a hot day, I can put it on his car seat for him on, its, on our way out. Um, I have some noise cancelling headphones. I, I'm still deciding if I want to do like hypnobirthing, something like that, but definitely if I want music, which I probably will, there's that. I also have this robe. It's just a black cotton robe. I got this from Shin as well. I just grabbed one because I thought, you know, if I'm going to be getting anything on it, black safe <laughs> safe color is black and it's also just a one I can toss out if I get it ruined by anything um I have a pair of socks I just have an old pair these are really ugly <laughs> I just have an old pair of slippers um they are so comfortable I bought them so many years ago and they are so so comfortable they're acorn brand um, they've lasted forever. They're wool. I don't know. They're super ugly. So I don't really mind if they get ruined at this point, but they're so comfy. So bringing those. I will be wearing a nursing bra to the hospital, but I brought two. So I have a few if I get leaky or dirty or again, whatever I get covered in. I have a couple going home outfit options. I plan on after delivering, if I'm there for a day or two or three or whatever needs to happen, however my delivery goes, I'm planning on just wearing like adult diapers and a nursing bra and the robe. I 
I will not want to wear clothes. I'm not a huge clothes person. So that's my plan. I'll at least be covered for the nurses, but at that point, I don't think they'll really care. Um, my going home outfit options, I have a few. I have this kind of like crop sweater um, to wear, like just in case I have to lift up and feed if, if he's latching. And I have like a flowy, just a high-waisted flowy skirt. This is kind of my option with that sweater, or I do have a feeding nursing top as well, quite loose and flowy. So I can wear this or the sweater with this skirt, or I do have kind of a t-shirt, a gray t-shirt dress option as well to throw on. So that's kind of three outfit options. Um, in the front of my bag, I have the Freedom Mom, um, what is this called? You guys know, <laughs> the Freedom Mom thing. Because I know the ones that they give you just spray straight up and I have no patience. <laughs> I, I know I will have no patience for that. Um, I have some chakra clearing spray. This, I just love spraying on myself. It smells so good. It's really refreshing. It's got some crystals in it. And um, yeah, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I got this um, healing salve at my baby shower. <laughs> and so, you know, if I need this for moisturizing, if I need this for any help on my nipples or anything, that I got my tux pads, of course. I am bringing some Vaseline. I heard that if you put it on your baby's bum before the meconium comes out, hopefully it's easier to wipe the tar off their butt. So, bringing that, hopefully that'll be helpful. And then I just have like I ordered a couple just toothbrushes if I forget them at the hospital not a big deal one for me and my husband and then just a little thing of toothpaste and a moisturizer I used I've used this my whole pregnancy I have a full bottle like a new bottle that I've been using I move closer I've been using this my whole pregnancy and I have no stretch marks knock on wood <laughs> uh, no stretch marks right now uh, and it's been awesome. It smells really nice. It's not oily. Love it. Uh, so I'm bringing that. And then the very last few things. I bought like chargers for my headphones and the fan. And then I just also have a like 10 foot long charger for my phone and then like a battery block, like a power bank as well. So if the 10 foot cord isn't enough. I have a battery bank as well. I'm bringing my nipple shields. I do have to order new ones. I got the wrong size. So reminder for me to do that. I have my Hakka. I have the Hakka colostrum collectors. And I'm not too sure if I'm gonna have a decent amount of colostrum or what's going on. So I also have this box. You guys probably would have seen these in my nursery tour. This box I just got off of Amazon. It's, um, what are these called? <laughs> Syringes. So if I'm collecting more than just these couple of little colostrum collectors, then I can empty them using the syringes. And there are the syringes in a little fridge or something. I also have just disposable nipple pads if I'm leaking when I'm not collecting. And then I have a good handful of disposable adult diapers. And that's all I have in here. If there's anything that I'm missing, oh, sorry, I also have like little gift baggies that I've made for the nurses. I just bought little things because I didn't wanna forget anything. So I just have little, these little bags. I have like a lot of them, they're like full. Of a bag. I've got a stash of them. I just put like a scrunchie. I put a few Hershey's Kisses, a few Lifesaver Mints. I put some skincare um, from the spa that I work at. I put a few samples of skincare in there for them. And then I have like Energy Fizz. I don't know if you guys have heard of these. These are 
I don't work for this company. This is not an ad. I just love these. Um, these are the Arbonne Energy Fizz. These are the Honeydew Melon flavor. I'm not in love with this flavor. It tastes kind of like a mojito, but I don't know. I really wanted Honeydew flavor and Honeydew is not the star. It kind of tastes minty, but um, yeah. So just a few things to say thank you. And my mom wants to order them a cake <laughs> for when we leave so they can have cake or something. I'm thinking maybe pizza. I don't know. Feed them at least. But other than that, yeah, that's all I have in my hospital bag and his hospital bag. If there's anything that I'm missing, please let me know. Or if there's anything you guys found handy that isn't in these videos regularly. I know most of the stuff is like pretty repeat. But um, yeah, if you have anything to add, please let me know below anything that was handy for you. Um, like I said, I'm still going to add that uh, electronic nail clipper for him. But otherwise, please let me know if there's anything else useful. Oh, there's a fly. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video.